welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorenzo and I'm a respiratory therapist. No longer in the making, um, but am still learning. Um, however, I would like to talk about today in this video, my phase two experience. So my phase two experience was nothing short of amazing. Um, as you all know, or well, if you don't know, my first video talking about my phase one experience, um, I actually did that while I was in my phase two location, which was Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. And so there is where I spent the next eight, nine or so months there for my phase two, doing all my clinical work, um, as well as testing for my CRT, um, and then again for my CSC for the RRT as well. So it was a great time. I really enjoyed it. Myself and two of the classmates were there. So it was just us three. Again, me being prior service, I did not have to stay on base in the dorms. So for me, I actually had to find a place to stay. So I was in Fort Walton Beach, which is close to Eglin Air Force Base. It's all in the same area. And it was about 30 minutes from Destin as well, which is a popular spot for spring breakers to go to um, because they have a lot to, lot to do there. And so of course there's in processing and everything you have to do. We started off actually in the hospital on Eglin. Um, there we got some uh, lessons and we got some training that we were able to do as well, just to kind of help out initially to start bridging that knowledge and hands-on, if you will. And from there, really, we went straight from the hospital because we were only there for just a few weeks before we actually went over to the offsite hospital. We all had our own day that we rotated and we worked the Panama schedule. So essentially, every other week, you only worked two days or five days. So let's start off with the Monday. Let's say you worked Monday and Tuesday, then you were off Wednesday and Thursday, then you worked Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then you're off Monday, Tuesday, you work Wednesday, Thursday, and then you're off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that just rotated every other week. I learned so much. I mean, even the, my other classmates will probably say the same, although I wanna speak for them. However, for me, that was such a pivotal time because I really learned a lot more from hands-on, hands-on. And so I got to do so much, you know, we mentioned AVGs and procedures, and you got to see a lot. And it really, really, really helped bridge the gap for me from knowledge to hands-on to really understanding everything that we learned just prior uh, going through the books and, and whatnot. So we did that for about four months or so, uh, maybe four to five months working at the hospital where we rotated throughout every area where we could go to as an RT. And it was us and a preceptor. Um, I had a wonderful preceptor. She was uh, amazing. Well, really, you had multiple preceptors. It also depended on what shift you were on because obviously they worked different days and different shifts. There was a, a CVI ICU, which is cardiovascular uh, ICU where people, if they had heart surgeries and things like that. Um, you had, oh my gosh, you had trauma ICU, right? Um, you had the ER and lots of other areas. The one area that we didn't get to get as much were, were babies. Now, one of the uh, students in my class did. She actually got to uh, help out and do some stuff. Uh, however, she was on night shifts and we found out on night shifts, a lot of hospitals, right? They have training students coming through as well. They have fellowships and whatnot and programs. And so because they're there, they're also needing to get a lot of their training. So a lot of times when it comes to some of the procedures, let's say intubations, for example, intubations, it typically they would do them. And so you don't, re you don't really get the chance on day shift because that's where all the med students are there. However, on night shifts is a little different. Um, they're not there for the most part and you're able to kind of well for us at least in our experience there at the hospital um, we were able to get that training do in intubate and, and really get a little more hands-on training uh, than you would on the on the day now i'm not saying this is for every hospital and it wasn't even like that on every night shift and that we didn't get any training on day shifts because you sure you sure did there were a lot of patients um, that needed help and, and were sick and so it was a just different experience, I would say, working on nights versus days. So after about those four or five months, like I just mentioned, we went back on Eglin to work in a clinic. And there we worked uh, doing PFTs and also doing the EKG stress test. And the repetition that you do, constantly doing them over and over, helps a lot and kind of cements that into like, uh, okay, your understanding to really grasp the information that you learn and study. So it was around this time where we started to study for the TMC. I have another video coming out not too long after this where I completely break down the TMC, uh, the CSC, uh, which is for your RRT and the TMC is for your CRT. 
how we studied it, uh, different resources that you can use to study and some tips that we did and how we all passed it, thankfully, and on our first try, thankfully. And so, yeah, so all that video will be coming out here soon. Um, however, like I said, it's kind of going back to where we were. This is where we would study and, and started coming together. There was a classroom that we had that we could kind of use for ourselves. Our instructors would let us use and we would pretty much get on the computer. We'd sign in onto one of the resources. Uh, Kettering is, is one of them that you will use and that you'll get actually in the schoolhouses. You get some books and that's what we use to study. And so they have an online where you can do credits, you can do tests, you can do practice questions. Within that, uh, of course, you know, all the in-between stuff, it was pretty, pretty relaxed the, the entire time, especially being on the shift work when we we're at the hospital. Uh, the instructors would check in with us every now and again. You're pretty much on your own, not on your own, but kind of on your own. Uh, you kind of go in, you have to, we had a check-in system. There were some things we had to do as well to kind of keep up with the things that we were doing, right? So like how many ABG sticks that, that you did or how many maybe P of bits uh, bedside pfts that you perform as well and so there are trackers that you would kind of have to input and some journaling things that we did as well so that you can kind of see how you were doing and uh, maybe interactions interactions and experiences that you had and so it was good i really enjoyed it again very uh, uh not micromanaged if you will uh again they they understand that you're you're learning and you're on shift work during the 12 hour shifts and so it was it was great i i really enjoyed my phase two experience there in eglin and, and doing the off-site uh work there at the hospital that aca for Walton beach and so the one thing that i will say is that when you're when you are working your shifts especially on like the weeks where you only work two days which would be every other week right you that means you have five days off wherever you go go out find time to you know decompress some of the shifts can be a little long or it can be longer than others especially if there's not much if there's not a lot of patience or not a lot that you may be doing so on the weeks that you have all the the five days if you will um fine pick up another hobby go do things you know get involved uh your, your base or wherever you are should have lots of things to do and opportunities if not the city around explore that's what i did and it truly helps just kind of decompressing and getting away. Uh, again, the work was great. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but it was also great to kind of get away every now and again. Um, you just spent four months, right? Uh, four and a half or so months studying, being in the books, which you, you have more to do because you have to test, you have to pass, but you need to find time to balance, to decompress. Your mental state's important. And so you have five days, use them, take them, now, also, if you are going in the time frame like I did, which is over the Christmas break, you do get exodus that you can take, which is essentially like two weeks off and go home, go visit boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whatever the case may be, wife, wife or husband. And so uh, use that time to really get away to help with your just uh, uh, your brain, your mind to get away from all the uh hands-on stuff you've been doing and learning and however again there are five other locations that you could end up going to it may not be the one that i that i'm at so i don't know what the experiences were like at the other places but i would hope that they would be good i haven't heard anything bad from the other areas or uh, uh places that you could go to and so just speaking from my experience it was a fantastic learning opportunity especially doing the hands-on work uh, again, the instructors were really great. Our supervisors and preceptors were all well. Uh, we learned a ton. Again, there's just so much information that you're going to get from the different experiences of the people you'll come in contact with. And so my recommendation is to pick their brains, ask questions. If you don't understand something, don't be afraid to ask. Try to get an understanding of what it is that you need to know uh, so you can, again, become a better RT, help with your patient care and also pass those exams or tests that you will have to take. So um, that's just something that I would recommend wherever you go um, if you're in this program. That was pretty much my phase two experience. Um, again, we went there, we did a clinical work, we worked on Eggland, and then we studied for our TMC and for the CSC after that. And then we had a graduation. Our graduation was great. Uh, we could invite some people to come through if you have family or friends. 
and so some of that did happen and uh which is great so i can't believe how fast it's gone by already and now i'm going to be working my first job as a respiratory therapist so i can't wait to take you on that journey to let you know what that's like so yeah if you have any questions as always leave a comment send me an email find me somehow uh, i'm on facebook as well um, and shoot me a message i'm more than happy to answer any of your questions throughout this process and journey um, to help you out in, in, in any way that i can uh, so i hope you all have a blessed one and thanks for coming by